Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you some things I picked up at MAC recently. I actually put these on Snapchat initially and then I asked you in my Sephora haul if you guys wanted to see a MAC haul. I know these are pretty close together so I figured I would put up three videos this week because this is another haul. But a lot of you wanted to see what I picked up from MAC and my opinion on the products because I have been using them. So if you want to see all the things that I picked up at MAC Cosmetics recently, then just keep watching. The first thing I wanted to pick up was another one of the MAC Shade Scent perfumes. I have Candy Yum Yum which MAC sent to me and then I wanted to purchase another one because I really love that scent. And Creme de Nude was the one that interested me the most. Initially when these came out you couldn't get your pro discount on them. So I waited a little bit and then you were able to get your pro discount on these. So this ended up being, I think it was $40 Canadian with the 40% off which was nice. When I first sprayed this I didn't care for the initial spray. I had to wait for it to set down on my skin. The best way I can describe this fragrance is as a warm, vanilla, cozy kind of fragrance. So I think it's perfect for the winter and if you like vanilla fragrances, you'll definitely like this one. And I just wanted to add another one to my collection. You guys know I love perfume and I was waiting for my pro discount to kick in. So excited it did. And I just have the two now, Candy Yum Yum and Creme de Nude. And I can definitely recommend them both. I love both those fragrances. There were a couple new things, new launches I wanted to pick up. They had these MAC Lip Scrubtious Lip Scrubs. And this one is in Candied Nectar. These are supposed to leave a slight tint to your lips. My lips are really pigmented naturally. This color specifically didn't leave a tint to my lips. It smells like a artificial candy strawberry fragrance. I was trying to have my son pinpoint it. He said strawberry, it looks like a strawberry. This does the job for me. It definitely does scrub your lips. However, I'm not a fan of the artificial scent. If I were to pick up another lip scrub, I do prefer the Lush one. That would be my recommendation, or just make your own because that's much easier. I am going to use it because I do use lip scrubs quite often because I do have chronically dry lips. However, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one, just my personal preference. And then a 100% repurchase. I love this product. This is new. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Essential Oil Stick. And I mentioned this in my January favorites. I love it that much. I had severe dryness on my cheeks this past month and this was the only thing that helped when I had to wear makeup. Typically when that happens to me, I will just steer clear of makeup because I don't want it to cake up and look bad on my skin. However, there was a couple days where I had to wear makeup for work and this is a stick version of their essential oils. So I love the consistency of this. It just smoothed out those really dry patches on my skin and worked amazing for my skin. So this is holy grail status for me. I loved it. And to have something really hydrate and smooth out those patches because the essential oils themselves, I didn't find did that as well as this stick. Just due to the consistency of it, I feel like it smooths out the skin a little bit better. So if you need something like that, have severe dryness like I did, I would highly recommend the stick form of their essential oils. I also picked up another product from the MAC Mariah Carey collection. I did a whole haul on that before, but now they have the discount on it, which I probably should have waited, but then I probably wouldn't have got the things I really, really wanted. And this is the lip pencil in So Dramatique. It is a taupey color and it's really beautiful. I plan on wearing this in a video coming up soon. Here is the swatch of it. It's just a beautiful taupe shade and I love the consistency of the Pro Longwear lip pencils as you guys know. They're really creamy, don't tug at the lips and it's just a beautiful taupe color. I don't have anything quite like this so that's why it really drew me in and I was waiting for the Pro discount to kick in again with these so I ended up picking this up later. Then MAC also released more of their Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colors. Their initial launch, I didn't care for the colors too much. I did try them out. They weren't my favorite. They weren't bad. It was just the color selection I didn't care for. So I picked up one to try this time around. And this is in the shade So Me. And it's a beautiful mauve shade. This is what the color looks like. I just think colors like this look really good with my complexion and my hair color. 
and I'm really excited that they came out with more shades in these because I don't find the formula bad in my opinion. I just didn't like the color range. They did come out with some lighter colors as well. This by Swatches Online is what caught my eye. So that's in So Me. I picked up a repurchase of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I have the shade Light Plus. Initially, I was going to pick up Medium. However, they had that out of stock. So I picked up Light Plus and it's working for me right now because I'm not self tan. And this is what Light Plus looks like. It's just a really light powder that sets your makeup naturally as the name suggests. So I would definitely recommend this. This is one of the first products I started out with in makeup was the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And I would just wear this all over my skin as a foundation when I was younger. Definitely a holy grail item for me if you want to set your makeup lightly or if you want a light coverage powder foundation, I would definitely recommend this. Lastly, these have been out for a little bit. However, I decided to pick them up now, a couple shades. These are the MAC Liptensity Lipsticks. And I'm sure you've seen these already if you watch a lot of YouTube. I know a bunch of YouTubers were sent these PR. I've only recently got on MAC's PR, but I do purchase a lot from them anyways. This is the shade Driftwood, which is a really pretty cool tone pink nude, which I've been really into lately. And then I have the shade Toast... I keep saying Toasted. It's Smoked Almond. The shade Smoked Almond, which looks like this. And I've worn this a bunch already. I really love the color. Would look really nice with what I'm wearing right now as well. So I've been really enjoying these. They're very intense, very creamy. They're not drying. They're like a satin finish to the lips and they're very pigmented. So I have been really enjoying this formula and definitely recommend the MAC Lip Tensities. They have tons of colors, dark colors, vibrant colors, you name it. They have a bunch to choose from. So highly recommend looking into those if you're curious. That is everything I picked up from MAC Cosmetics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't too many products to go through. However, I know a bunch of people from Snap wanted an update on how the products have been working out. So that's my little opinion on everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you found some things you wanna check out in the future. Let me know if there's anything coming up from MAC Cosmetics that you want me to check out in future hauls and I'd be happy to haul them. I know I got a bunch of the Color Rocker collection, which will be in a video either before or after, which I wanted to show you. I purchased them and had some sent to me. So that will be up in a video soon. I'm not sure, as I said before, after this video. And if there's anything else, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to check it out for you guys. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my Mac hauls, and I will see you guys in my next video.